The challenges that we face up here in the Arctic is the prices. The prices of fuel, the prices of food, the prices of freight. The freight is high is because the fuel costs a lot. $7, $8, $12 a gallon for gas is, is outrageous. We could stand those storm any day, but we can't beat those prices. Deering is just, you know, home for me, so it's like where I go to find peace and whatnot. I spent the first 16 years or so of my life here in the village before I moved out to boarding school and attended college. I like Deering because of all the hunting we do around here and all the freedom. No, no real big things happen. Nice and quiet place. Deering is about a mile long. There's maybe about 160 people. So if we're passing each other on the street, we all wave at each other. Everybody knows one another. I was born Deering February 12, 1938. It was a lot different then from now, you know. I seen lots of changes. You wouldn't believe it, but we didn't have any electricity at the time. What is the main advantage of these solar panels for us as a village? Lower budget expenses. Lower expenses for our electricity. What's one of your favorite things you do when you have this electricity? Charging our phones. Watching movies. <laughs> yes. The light bill. On average, some of these houses are $330 a, a month. If they go over 500 kilowatts, they're paying about 68 cents per kilowatt. We're trying to integrate renewables into the grid in order to offset some of diesel consumption. Deering burns about 45, 46,000 gallons of fuel a year just for the town alone to run the power. Because food is so expensive, lights are expensive, you have to choose to pay your lights or you buy food. And there's about only 20 local jobs here, so a majority of Deering is on public assistance. What is something big that's happening that will affect your culture? Climate. Yeah, climate change. But what happens to the seals and the wells and even the birds for that matter? They'll be extinct. Guys, see, anytime this changes, anytime we have climate change, some animals do not adapt very quickly, okay? And if they don't adapt, they say it again, bud. Extinct? They go extinct. Okay. It's getting harder now to get ugu because when break up the ice was not very good for the ugu, so they had to go further out to hunt. A big chunk of where the food comes from up here is subsistence. So my life um, changes with the seasons, with subsistence. Springtime, we do seals. Summertime, fish. Fall times berries, winter times caribou galore. What we do now is what they did thousands of years ago. All the traditions, all the subsistence, same thing, but different weather. Weather well, was predictable. Now, not very predictable. Because the last couple of years, I instead of being that sick, sometimes some places were only about a foot or two feet deep. I always tell the guys, you should have dog team. They said, why? I said, a dog will sniff a hole. A snow machine can't sniff where the holes are. <laughs> Because Deering is windy and sunny the majority of the time, they installed the wind turbine in 2015. Right now they're installing the solar panels and with the wind, the solar and the battery, those will run and generate about 50% of the power. I imagine we won't even be running much diesel during the summer. We would be able to offset the electric rate for the whole community. Yeah, what I'm hoping for and for the, my kids and the rest of the community is that we don't have to buy diesel anymore for our 
energy. In 20 years, when I'm an older, I just want to see my people thrive. So the part that I'm playing, I hope, helps make that happen. Everybody helps everybody around here. If somebody's having a hard time, the whole village steps in to help. You're in this home as long as I live. I think we're the best community. Carrying on the traditions that we have here, doing all this subsistence is pretty important for my boys because they'll know where they came from and who taught them, and once they're older, they'll be able to teach their boys too. We're subsisting off of the sun and the wind now for power, just like how we subsist off of the land for animals and berries and fish.